Hey folks, Captain Dave here. It is one of the more miserable days lately in all of Northeast Florida. So, as you can see, I'm up in the boat shed, up in the Jetty Wolf, and it is raining, blowing, and cold. But what I wanted to do is I've been promising everybody to show them the new shark tackle that I'm going to be using this summer. So, here's the lineup of what I got. Okay, let me give you a little shot of it close up here. What we have is all four matching Daiwa 900H. That's a 9 aught Daiwa. Daiwas are super strong reels. All one piece aluminum, you know, frames. Uh, got the front braces on every one. They just come with them. 60 pound, 750 yards of 60 pound mono, high vis mono on them. And they're all matched up with stand up rods. Stand up rods with uh, various rollers. They're not really long rods. Uh, roller tips, as in like this one here. We got the slick butt. But as you may have seen in some of my other videos, what I have done is I beefed these Daiwas up with these mega handles. Every single one now has the big Allen Tanny from out in California custom bulletproof handles on them. All right. Then in every single reel, Mr. Tanny out in California was only getting about 20 pounds of drag out of each one of these reels when he tested them because he works on reels. It's, uh, he does reel repair out in California. I put in every single one of these reels all new greased carbon fiber drag washers. And now these reels went from 20 pounds of drag pressure up to about 32 to 35, I guess you could say, pounds of drag pressure. So that's, that's this tackle. I think these will handle black tips for anybody. The difference is it's sort of a, it's not that heavy of a rod and reel, but it's sort of weighty. So that will do it for the black tips and some of the other sharks. That's what I've been working on here for the last several months. All right, let me adjust this. But, but, You know, you start talking to some of these guys who stand even on the beach catching 500-pound sharks, right? And what they're looking for is even smoother drags and everything like that. So what I acquired was some really unbelievable ultimate shark tackle here. What I have is some vintage stand-up ugly sticks with all AFCO rollers on them. I acquired these, okay? And I'm an ugly stick guy. Not one of these rods is an ugly stick. But two of them are, you know, uh, 50 to 80 pound class. And two of them or about 30 to 50 pound class. So what I have is the same reels, but I have two sets of rods that are of different strengths. Okay, two of them are quite limber, and two of them are quite heavy. These are 80 to 130 pound class rods. So these will really do it. And then, let me adjust here a little bit. So then, I put this 
on an on these rods have avets on them, lever drags, two speeds versus the die was single speed star drag, kind of kicking it old school on these, right? But then I wanted to step up just a little bit because when I go out and I'm really going to be soaking baits for the really, I don't care if it takes 12 hours, 500 pound hammerhead type thing. I sort of want to really be prepared. Uh, so then I got these. This is a Avit EXW 50 in the wide edition. Okay. So now we're talking full blown harness lever drag producing up to about 57 pounds worth of drag pressure. Uh, super top quality reel. So, I got two of these. There you go. They're on the same rods. This is a non-wide spooled Avat EX50. And this is the wide. Now, I may get rid of this one, and I just got it. Because now I found another one of these. And I really want all my stuff to do some serious matching. I really want matching everything. And these are my two, I don't know what you're going to call them. No matter what, you know, 10 pound stingray for bait, this is going to be the tackle that I want to use right here. So, this is going to be the real man maker tackle right here. And this right here is what we'll be using for the everyday tackle, I guess you could call it. Plus, you know, I got lighter rods that will catch the black tips. This is probably the lightest rod that I have. I mean, this one, you actually shake it, you know, and, it, and the end is kind of twangy. We're going to probably step it up this year on these dudes right here. And I'll have, you know, some for more lighter fish some for some for lighter sharks some for going all the way but timing is going to be uh, something that I will be announcing on my blog of when it is going to be time to go full bore for the shark fishing trips but as promised this is the shark tackle this has taken a long time. This has taken months and months and months to acquire, to get the handles, to replace the drag washers, to get the braid, to get the mono, to, to get the rods, everything, to put on new handles. So I've got a lot invested in this, and this is what I'm going to be doing pretty much all summer long. My shark trips that I did last year were absolutely fantastic. It's a wonderful half day with the family. You're not going on a long boat ride. You're many times hooking up to something right away. And that's what I love about it. So, join me on the Jetty Wolf this summer. Let's go test out this tackle. Thank mm -hmm. you.